Welcome to HOA Fight Club. I'm Raylene Schifano. I'm doing these videos for a certain reason. I'm not doing these videos to profit from um, the homeowners or to make any money from the homeowners. I make these videos for information only. Um, somebody asked me what I was peddling um, this last weekend and I just want you guys to know that I'm not peddling anything. My goal is to warn consumers about the pitfalls that you can fall into in an HOA or condo association. Most people when they buy a home um, that's in one of the associations don't realize um, what they're signing into. They don't realize they're signing into a corporation. Um, and then when they get into these corporations, they don't realize that when they go to, I'll give an example. We had a homeowner contact us this weekend in our private group um, about she had a dead plant in her yard and she removed the plant. Well, in removing the plant, the HOA board came to her and asked or told her that she was in the wrong because she needed permission to remove any plant in her yard. Now she's an HOA, so she has her own home and she needed permission to remove the plant and she couldn't believe that she needed permission to remove a plant in her own yard and what I told her was you need permission to do everything in HOA on the outside of your home everything you do you need permission now some HOA boards are very lenient and they don't accept they don't care if you do anything on the outside of your home they won't do anything but every board can be different one vote can change a board and then something that was very simple with one board might change to another board so you have to really know what your board expects from you I was in an HOA in um, Reno and I never even knew I had an HOA. I think our dues were like $25 a year. I didn't even know we had an HOA. The dues came out of escrow there. So we were just really stunned when we actually learned that we did have an HOA because we never knew. Um, so you just never know. So just be aware of what your HOA rules are because the board can make a lot of decisions and they can make your life rough. So I'm not peddling anything. I'm not asking for any money. I don't want any money. Everybody charges the homeowners so much money. I'm here to help the homeowners. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here if you get fined I will help answer those um, questions and uh, help you deal with your fines with your board and see how you can do the advice that I gave the homeowner was to apologize to the board don't go against the board she made a mistake she was at in the wrong with the board she should apologize to the board ask for a due process hearing go in and say she's sorry and ask if she can make that change and that she won't do it again so I'm not telling you that you should fight your board on every instance that you have I'm telling you that you should follow your rules you did sign the contract that said you would follow those rules and you should follow those rules I'm not saying that we should revolt against all the rules. I'm saying that we should revolt against the fact that we don't have constitutional rights in these um, associations. That's what we should be doing. But you should follow the rules and try to get along with your board. So if the board is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, that's when you get in and try to make a change. So um, the other thing I want to touch on is that you have the group CAI, um, Community Associations Institute. Now, they are charging the homeowners money and they don't even know it. So if your property is a part of CAI, so your property manager is a member of CAI, and you might not even know that. So that's something you might wanna ask your board. And if your board is a member of CAI, you are paying an advocacy fee. And I will show you this um, in my uh, video here. Um, everybody pays an advocacy, advocacy fee. Now the fee may look really small, but when you multiply that fee times thousands and thousands of HOA and condo associations, it adds up. Now what that advocacy fee goes for is to advocate for liens and foreclosures. They wanna do super priority liens to foreclose on you within three to six months um, of you going past due on your assessments or for those fines that they find you for, they wanna be able to foreclose without going to court. They wanna do non-judicial foreclosures. So you are paying, <laughs> you are paying to advocate against yourself. You are paying for them to go to legislation and advocate for you to lose your home. Um, so make sure that if you 
are a member of your, or you check with your board to see if you're a member of CAI. Um, I think those advocacy fees are kind of illegal. Um, that's like donating to somebody that you don't even know you're donating to. Um, and if you're donating, is that a donation? I'd have to, I really question that fee. Um, I know that CAI used to be a nonprofit. Um, I don't think they're a nonprofit anymore. Um, I know that they were trying to act like they were a nonprofit for a while. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what they are. So that advocacy fee really bothers me. And as a homeowner that was in a condo association, this really infuriated me. How dare they charge us a fee to legislate against ourselves. So be careful when you um, uh, go over your documents with your budgets with your board. Ask if you're a member of CAI and ask why that isn't in the budget because ours was never in the budget. Our membership with CAI was never disclosed to the homeowners and I find that to be wrong. Every penny the association spends should be itemized and disclosed to the homeowners. So think about that when you're um, going through the budgets each year um, to question your board on that one. Um, again, my goal is to make sure that we understand our CCNRs, that we know how to fight if we are in, if we find the board is in the wrong. Um, we know how to stand our ground. We know how um, to take our fight to the government. That's where our fight needs to be. Our fight needs to be with the legislators that aren't following the constitution because that is where we are finding um, that the government is not protecting us and that is their job. The government is there to protect us, especially our governors. We need to go to our governors and our mayors and the legislators that are covering our districts and demand change. Have, if you have problems with your association, the first person you should go to is your legislator in your district. But the second person you should go to is your mayor and show what is going on. When I went to my my mayor and I, I, I went to her more than once um, to show the destruction that the board was causing to these homeowners property. Um, and because I went to her, I got more action um, from her and the city um, and it went a lot quicker. If I didn't go to the mayor, I wouldn't have gotten any action from anyone. Um, the attorney general and the governor have denied that they have any power in our state, which again, is confusing to me. How can the attorney general not have any power and how can the governor not, governor not have any power? Um, because they keep telling us that nobody's above the law. HOA is above the law. So that needs to change. And the only way that's gonna change is by holding these people responsible. When I found the damages, so I got um, my mold report back this week and found that I have internal physical damages that will take months to get rid of months and costly treatments. And I'm gonna share that with my mayor because I think that all the other 129 homeowners that live there and another new one that's gonna move in, I'm sure when they sell that home, if they don't fix that property, they are just give, allowing these people that are living in that mold and moisture to become infected with this uh, mold that is going to stay in their systems forever and it causes damages. It causes, um, it affects your brain, it affects your body, it can cause Alzheimer's, it can cause so many things to be um, wrong with your body and it is not good. So I'm going to go back to my mayor and demand more. But at the end of the day, you guys, I'm not here to charge you anything. I'm here to help you to answer questions. I'm here to answer the questions that nobody else will answer for you. And I will answer you honestly. I will not lie to you. Um, if you're in the wrong, I'm gonna tell you that you're in the wrong and that you should tell the board that you're sorry. But if you have a case and that you need help, I will help you. I will tell you the truth and help you through your situation with your HOA or your condo association. All right, I'll see you on the next one.